Hey guys, Magic here, and I went to the Omnicat Prelease, as you can tell by my last video. And I didn't too, do too well, but I did get the Gideon deck. It doesn't really want to fit on screen since I'm trying a new angle, so I'll fit it in frame as much as I can. Here, this should actually be a little better. But once I get it out of its packaging, I will show it to you a lot better. Okay, so, opening it as you can tell. And this is cool because they had it early and I actually, the new Gideon looks absolutely amazing. So, opening it up, we have our Gideon and then, ooh, that's actually pretty heavy, this deck, this deck box. Um, and now let me see, where does it go? There we go. Perfect. And Gideon, Paragon Marshall, part, Partial Marshall, but no, no, what, why am I saying Marshall, Partial Paragon, so, as you can tell, it is 5 mana for 5 loyalty, and the reason why I got this deck is not actually for standard play value, but for commander, I absolutely think this is going to be bomb, and especially like attack, Atraxa, Poison, and Infect commander decks, if they're playing white, that is. But, um, plus two, untap all creatures. Those creatures get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Even post combat, that's very good because, uh, let's say exert. You use your exert, or even if you use a second, then you untap all your p creatures and they're good for blocking. And then it's minus or plus zero is what a Gideon would do. So he just turns it into a 5-5. Five, five, and then prevent all damage that would be dealt to him. And then his minus 10, which I think is pretty good. Where creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2 until the end of turn. And untap. And not untap. And tap all your opponents. In commander, this could prove very, very lethal. So yeah. I, I think this Gideon is super good in commander. Plus I like the foiling job. Very nice wizards. I'll put this up. There. So, um, about my pre-release, I didn't get anything good. Yeah, I got nothing good, I lied. However, I did get packs, and that was cool. But I got Prowling Super Part as my promo. Okay, so, everything's out of the box now. We have our deck, our Quick Orphan's Guide, they, they changed it, so that's cool. And then our quick, or Omnicat, how to play deck. With a bunch of other stuff. Ha, it says other spells. Ha. Doesn't say non-creature spells, it says other spells. Nub. Wow, they could they could have just put non-creature spells. Why? Why didn't they? Why? Whatever, I'm, I'm not part of I'm not part of that, so I can't complain. We got our two packs and two of the same packs, strangely, and then our deck. So I'm just gonna run through the deck for you guys. Oh my god, if I could actually open this, that would be good. Okay, there we go. Okay, close enough. So, um, yeah, about this new camera angle, let me guys know how you like it. So, Hazard's favor is our, is our, one of our first cards, so, uh, I'll let you guys read that. It's okay if you're running that super aggressive deck. And Glory Bound and, oh, this actually has more than two rares, I'm not used to that. Um, I think this is very good in draft, and it could be good as, in that, um, I, I believe it's that red white um exert deck with oh my god always watching yes always watching with the exert mechanic I think it's gonna be super good in that but I don't really think anywhere else um, we have Gideon's Resolve uh yes yeah, search it and then creatures you control get plus one plus one mm -hmm, it's okay oh we have two of those I didn't know that but we have a Gus Walker times three actually. Ah, no, they're falling all up. Ah, no. Oh, my God. 
it requires Nef Crop Entangler. I'll get let you guys read that. Pathmaker Initiate. I think that's pretty good in draft. Honored Crop Captain. I'll move these out of frame for you guys actually. Uh yeah, so just whenever attacks it gets other attacking creatures get plus one plus one. That's pretty good. Ooh, we got two of them. That's pretty good. Champion at the trials and top target creature. Activate it only if you have Gideon. I think this is one of their special cards. I believe. But we have whopping three of those. Um devoted crop mate. This is also very good in um what should we call it? Um the oh my god. Oh my god, prove this. I can't I can't I can't tonight. It's super late. I can't I just can't. And we have four graceful cats. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus one, plus one. Meh, it's okay. It would be good in cat deck, but that's it. And crop crasher. That's okay. That's haste and exert it. And then something can't block. And we have only three. Only three of them common. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Sparring mummy. And we only have two of those. But we have three and crop crasher. Crashers. Um, I believe we only have one of these. One, one, tack crop catcher, cropily. I mean, that has flying and exerts to give your whole team plus one plus one. That's good in a um token build. The hyena pack times two. It isn't that good, but I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not good. No, I lied. And then stone quarries times four. I believe it's just the tap land that taps for that. How many plains and mountains we got? Three, six, nine. We have ten plains. And I think ten, oh my god, mountains. Uh, yeah, three, six, ten. Ten mountains. Yep. And we actually have a cartouche zeal. If you watched my last video, you can tell I didn't pull any cartouches. So I was kind of bummed about that. But I like the cartouches. Impeccable timing. Few trial of zeals. Three to be exact, actually. And two electrifies will do it for the deck. But on to the backs. And I'm kind of actually surprised. Because I haven't opened one of these before. And we actually got four rares, which I think is interesting. However, granted, one they're they're all guaranteed, but you know you can have never have too many Gideon's resolve or whatever. But packs, the Omnicat packs. Um, so I will be going through these a bit slower than I did in the pre-release, just to get you guys acquainted to the set. But on the sec on the second pack, I'll go a little bit faster. Throwing that off to the side, and I'm gonna move these bit back so I can actually lay down the cards. Oh, focus! Jiro's resolve. There. Naga Oracle. Another Cartouche Zeal. Sparring money, mummy, mummy. This is another addition to the deck along with the Zeal. Curse Minotaur. Then a faction of Ronos. But the, it's not that good. Uh, River Serpent. It's not that good. Compulsory Rest is great in... Oh my god. Um, Prove this. Oh my god, the word is blanking me. Hey, it's a Sun Scorched Desert that deals stuff to players. Oh no. Splendid Agony is our last in common. Sixth sense. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. It's pretty good. Hey, spring in mind. It's pretty good. Trial of Solidarity, another trial to add to your deck if this is what you're going to get. And Peaky Deaky. Harvest Season, that's pretty good. This is pretty good in draft. And then a uh, Punch Top card, or whatever we'll call it. But Harvest Season, um, if you pull this in the pre-release, it's definitely worth running. Just because when you attack with your team, you can pay three mana on your second main phase to search up for like three, maybe five, on average, like around 
three-ish. For three lands for three mana, that's pretty good. But, um, on to our next packs, we have another one of the Sphinxes. Um, and to open it for you guys would be my greatest pleasure right now. Oh, come on now. There we go. Alright, sorry it's taking me a little longer than normal, guys. I'm really tired. Alright, pack number two. Brute Strength. Cartouche of Solidarity. Another one to add. Wander and Death. Greater Sandworm. Pain of Bluffs is good for these. Better Blade Warrior. Violent Impact is not that good in draft. Binding Mummy. Decision Paralysis. Honored Kopesh. Hold on, let me just make sure of something real quick. Okay, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get it. Xena Suns Seeker is pretty good in draft. It's very, very good. Oh, I know what we got already just by that. Hapatra's Mask, that's pretty good. Shadow Storm Vizier. So, when you cycle, it gets plus one, plus one until the end of card. And Dread Wanderer. So, um,. It enters tapped, but you can pay two in a block to return it from your graveyard to your battlefield and then activate it as a sorcery. And you can only activate it if you have one or fewer cards in hand and a swamp and an unwavering initiate. And that's it, guys. A harvest season, which I'm probably going to run in my commander deck, so I'll give an update of that. I might run this, but I don't think so. I might actually run this just because it gives everything plus one plus one. I don't know if I if I'll run that as a one drop, but I'll check. I don't know. Um, I'll see what else I will run. I think the cartouches are pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna run the harvest season too, but if you were doing it for the um just for the deck, I would say per se, I would actually throw in. A, hold on. Cartusa Solidarity. Brute Strength. A Trial Solidarity. Hold on, let's see. Compulsory Rest is pretty good. Another Sparring Mummy and a Katush Bazil would never hurt. And this as a combat trick is pretty nice. So, there you have it. My breakdown of the Gideon part, part, Martial Paragon deck and what you would add for it if you got exactly what I got. But you know that would never happen, so just keep your mind open and just see what you get. This goes for the same for the Liliana pack. You get what you get and try and make it better. Alright guys, see you in the next video. But also comment down below what you would like to see. So... And as always, bye guys.